Good day, my name is Ben Kruger. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to make that great South African delicacy, Boerewors. In order to make good Boerewors, you have to start with good mince. And to do that, I'm going to demonstrate the mincing process using my lovely blue and silver mincer. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm going to be using beef trimmings in an 80-20 ratio. That means 80% meat to 20% fat. Now, I've cut them into pieces, which makes them easier to mince. And now I'm going to load my mincing bowl and put this one back there to catch the final product. For the first mince, we start with a fairly coarse blade just to break the meat up. And after that, we're going to add the spice. There we go. Right, now this is a fairly messy but very satisfying process and as you can see the product is fairly coarse what we're going to do now is we're going to mix the spices into this and then mince it again that allows the meat and the spices to mix properly and after that we're going to give it a fine mince using another blade when i first started making budovors i used to mix my own spice and I would get really fancy with all sorts of imported bits and pieces and I would spend hours grinding and stamping and doing crazy stuff. And then I discovered Omas Boerewors Mix. This is a brilliant, brilliant product. For three kilograms of vors, this is a half a cup measure. One and a half. And then my iced water, which goes in. If you're unsure of the amount of spice and water to use, there's a very handy guide on the front of the packet. Now you mix it all together. And make sure that all the spice is in the water. And then you let it stand for about 10 minutes. So that the spice can be rehydrated before you mix it with your mince and put it through the mincer again. 10 minutes has gone by and it's time to combine the spice and the mince. For that I'm going to need a slightly bigger container. Two kilograms of mince goes in first. That bowl goes over there. My spice mix goes in. I give it a good stir with a hand. Once you've mixed it by hand it's time to go back to the mincer. Start the puppy up and start feeding your meat through. Now, what this does is it minces the meat one more time and it also mixes the spice through. Right, as you can see, we now have a much finer consistency in mince and this is going to become our delicious bourrevors. Now we get to the really fun part of this whole process and that is loading the casing. Now this is a natural hog casing which means it comes from a pig it comes already salted and all you need to do is rinse it in clean water and then load it onto the nozzle now once you found the end fill it with water put it over the nozzle and start loading it on now if you wet the nozzle beforehand it'll make this whole process much easier people often ask me about the difference between vors and boerewors. In South Africa, you can only call something boerewors if it consists of 90% meat, and of that 90%, only 30% is allowed to be fat. Now, you can use beef, mutton, pork, or goat. No chicken, no crocodile, no elephant, no liquor Now, excuse me while I continue loading this here casing. There you go. Easy as pie. If I can do it with these little fat fingers, anybody can do it. Now we've got to put the filling, which is the mince with the spices, into this machine. And that is quite easily done using these amazing tools you were given. Just drop it in there. Put it onto the holder. It's got little clips in the front. It's got clips at the back to hold it securely in place. Now, I would suggest that you get yourself an assistant to do the turning. Because turning the handle on this side 
and catching the horse on this side, you need arms like Michael Phelps. So uh, let's go. Let's see what happens. I can see the mince starting to come through the feeder pipe. So I'll drag out a little bit of casing, a little bit of casing, and now we can start feeding it through. Let's go. There we go. Who said making booty was difficult? Right, and there we have it. Homemade booty to please any palate. I hope you enjoy. It.